Quala. Welcome to Expat Life Ghana. I'm Tony, this is my wife Ayo. We're documenting our move from Texas to Ghana as we go beyond the return. We had just traveled to Ghana during a pandemic again. Again. <laughs> for those of you visiting Ghana soon, we've got some important tips for you. Um, traveling internationally, new protocols here at the International Airport in Ghana, and what you can anticipate on arrival. All right, so let's get this video started. I totally think the process traveling through the airport has gotten a little easier since the last time that we arrived. What do you, do you think? Yeah. Really, I think it was uh, a little smoother. Um, yeah. But I can see they have amped up their system a little to make it easier uh, for the process of getting lots of people in at once. Yeah, I was on a pretty full flight and they got us through. That was pretty, they were pretty good. I mean, it was, it was, mm -hmm. it was well done. Um, if you're arriving in Ghana during the pandemic for the first time, then you probably have a ton of questions. <laughs> yes, good news. We are here with some important information some guidelines and the latest tips we can give you yes. on getting in successfully. Traveling to Ghana, then you need a few things before you even get to the airport. First is a passport and a visa. <laughs> the US Passport Office has been running massive delays, like massive delays lately. So as a general rule, apply early so you can make sure you get yours back in time. Yes, uh, the Passport Office is also offering a passport card that you can add to your passport book order. They're so cute! Yeah. They're so cute! It may be a good idea uh, so you always feel like you have a valid ID on you uh, without actually carrying your passport book. Completely, completely, because mm -hmm. people always get like a paranoid, you don't want oh, to lose yeah, it or drop it. it. Yeah. So you'll also need a valid visa. Now, those are issued either as one-time or multi-entry. And for us, we totally suggest multi -entry. the multi-entry. Yeah. Um, when you apply for the single entry, you have to provide return flight information, whereas when you do the multi, you don't. So just something to consider for those of you guys who are planning your black visit. There is always a lot of chatter on our Facebook group about the process to visa on arrival. Don't do it. Visas <laughs> are issued at the airport for travelers flying without a valid visa, but be warned. Your airline is not going to let you on the plane out of the U.S. without seeing a valid visa. Um, take it from experience. That's never happened. We've got a little <laughs> experience in that. <laughs> so even though you can get it in Ghana, you can't leave the U.S. unless you already have it. Yeah. So. And the turnaround time for those are kind of volatile. So mm. plan ahead, send yours off to one of the processing centers with as much time, lead time as possible. They closed the Houston one. Yeah. Now, I don't know. Um, that was like the Arkansas fastest. Or something. Yeah. Now Houston was the best one, guys. Yeah. For the Houston team, you guys were awesome. I'm so sorry. Yeah. But now there's one in Arkansas. And it's super slow, super expensive. So. How do they charge more at that one than they do at the other ones? I have ones? no idea. They're, they're, uh, I don't know if they're like private owned or something. I have no idea how they work. Oh, huh, interesting. Well, yeah. either way. So, um, you know, the holidays, um, school break, all those things are coming up and that add on to the delay. Yes, it's going to take a minute, believe me. The other thing you need to do um, is get a vaccination. <laughs> but relax, relax. As of this recording, you still don't need to have a COVID jab, but you right. do need to have the yellow fever card showing that you've been vaccinated for yellow fever. Yes. Breaking news, breaking news from the Ghana Health Services. Um, guys, this is huge. The Ghana Health Services just announced today they are instituting new vaccine uh, requirements uh, for all travelers to Ghana. Here are the major points. Um, for everyone 18 and over arriving in Ghana, they will be required to provide evidence of full vaccination for COVID-19. Plus, all unvaccinated Ghanaians and residents of Ghana currently outside of the country returning within 14 days from midnight on the 12th of December 2021 are exempted. However, and this is a big thing. They would have to be vaccinated at the airport on arrival. Folks, this is big. 
thanks to the folks in our closed Facebook book group for uh, sharing this and uh, providing the information and getting us um, ahead on the situation. We appreciate it. Thanks. Drop a comment below and let us know what you think. Be sure to check before you fly so you can get the up-to-date information. Yeah, a lot of restrictions are going into place right now, kind of left and right. Yes, absolutely. You can join the private Facebook group that we have for expats just like you. Um, that actually helps you to get knowledge from the collective. And people are really good about posting current released information and, as soon as it's dropping. Very, very helpful. Yeah, everybody's so nice. I love our group. Yeah, anyway. good people. Uh, <laughs> once you book for your flight with your valid passport, mm -hmm. visa, yellow card, it's time to play the PCR testing game. <laughs> this is a terrible game. I hate this game. Yay! Yeah. You have to uh, have a PCR test, not an antigen test, which is very different, uh, within 72 hours of flying. How did you find that out, Tom? Um, because they're it. very different. <laughs> <laughs> As, I, I, if we had like, we should get a prize for every time we've gone to the airport thinking the we were ride. all set to go and I'm being like, nah, no. I ain't flying today. Try we, tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so as of this recording, you, um, you have to get that PCR test, not antigen test, but check for current updates because they are kind of changing the requirements for what that looks like. Right. Walgreens, CVS and other pharmacies in the states are offering the PCR testing for free. Free! Only problem is their turnaround time is anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. No, to 72 hours. 40, yes, 24 to 72 hours. Yeah, they, yes. they think they can get it in 24, but they don't guarantee 24. It's free, so everybody's going for the free stuff, which means you're hey, going to wait. Hey, 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 hey. That's not how you do this dance. This is how you do the dance, Just you guys. saying. If you schedule your PCR test at like Walgreens or CVS or whatever, like 48 to 60 hours, so two and a half days before you're going to head out, schedule it at the free place. And then also schedule a rapid PCR test at a testing facility somewhere within 24 hours. So like maybe 6, 12, 18 hours before your departure time. That way, if the first test doesn't come back in time, you have your backup slot already scheduled and you can just go and take your second test. I oh, I'm sorry. Or <laughs> just skip all of that, go right to the rapid response right away. That costs <laughs> more money. Yes, time or money, yo. Time or money. Okay, so anyway, when we <laughs> traveled to Ghana in 2020, just as the borders were opening, this was really all you needed to get going, right? right. Passport, visa, yellow fever card, PCR test, and then boom, you were on your way. You could head to the airport. Yeah, I learned the hard way. You can't just check in with your <laughs> test results on your phone. Yeah, so everything has kind of changed a little bit. Before you get to the airport to check in, you really need to create an account on trustedtravel.panabios.org to upload your test results and be issued a barcode before you even get to check in. Super important, super important. Also, the airline is looking for that barcode when you check in, so you have to have it. Um, I would just print it out, uh, the results, and that barcode before you head out. What happens if you don't do that, Tony? Um, you don't fly today. <laughs> so, we flew Delta, and for those of you who missed our horror story flying Delta in 2020, check out that video, plus be sure to subscribe, because later this month we are going to tell you all about Delta's attempt at a redemption with this flight. Hmm. Well, Delta makes you <laughs> upload your results on their platform before you can check in. So whatever airline you choose, the um, requirements may be different. So yeah. do check that out. Definitely double check. And you'll need to do this for every traveler who's with you, who's five and older, even if they've had the vaccine, even if you have a vaccine card, it doesn't matter. Yes, and Leo loves getting all those COVID tests. No, no, it does. <laughs> Hi, I'm Leo. Subscribe right now. And just when you think you're all set to travel, a hold up, uh, there's more. Yes, you need to complete two more steps before you get to the airport. Before you even get to the airport to check yeah. in. Yeah, who does that? <laughs> First, you have to pay for your test on arrival. Yep, if you loved getting your test in the States, then you're going to love doing it again in Ghana. Yay, Leo's favorite part. Uh, yeah. No, 
No, it's not. Um, once you get off the plane, you'll have to get another test before you even get to immigration. Yes. Paying ahead will save you from standing in line at the payment kiosk. Yes. And at the airport, we were asked to show proof of our payment before we checked in. So before they would even let us on, they were wanting to see that we had already prepaid. And the system kept declining our card. It was yeah, a glitch or something? Yeah, I, I don't know. Check with your credit card companies um, if it happens to let them know. Uh, because it may look like a fraudulent transaction. I'm pretty sure the entire website looks like a fraudulent transaction. <laughs> yeah, but so... the decline has been happening a lot. Right, and, and a lot of people have been posting it in the Facebook group, so it does happen. Yeah. If you can't prepay, you can pay on arrival. Just know that your airline might give you some grief when you're trying to check in because you haven't done it yet. The link to prepay is in the description and is at myfrontierhelp.com. Mm -hmm. Questionable website. But anyway, mm. you'll need the receipt from there when you arrive. So definitely have that handy and ready to go. Yes. And that test is 150 US dollars per, per person. person. <laughs> you'll also need uh -huh. to complete the online health declaration form prior to your departure. Yes. You can fill it out when you arrive at a, at a digital kiosk, but those lines can be long, long, very long. So just do it ahead of time. Yes, you know, you um, you can also do it on your phone when you get there, if you have the website uh, online right. and you get onto the Wi-Fi. So definitely think about that. But uh, the airline is gonna ask you if you have it done. So, you know, depending on who you're flying, you just wanna get it done ahead of time. Mm -hmm. When you fill out that form, you need a bunch of different information, including <laughs> where you're staying, yep. who you're staying with, yep. um, phone numbers, phone numbers all the phone who's numbers. hosting you. Um, Somebody put us down as hosting them on their forum. Yeah, they told us about this later. Don't, don't list us. Don't do that. We all know you. you yeah, like you're not that. staying with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get kicked out. <laughs> well, no problem. <laughs> so uh, if you're going to fill this out when um, you arrive, be sure to have all of this information set and ready to go. Right. So have that phone charged before you get <laughs> off the plane so you're ready. And Ghana is rolling out digital addresses right now, too. So if you're getting asked for address information, you may be asked for the digital address. Mm -hmm. um, addresses here are a little funny. So the yeah. digital address is the new updated thing. So make sure you have the, that information or ask for it from your host so that you can put it on the form. Right. I would fill this out ahead of time so you aren't standing there in line trying to get all this information together. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can't fill it out too early. The system yes. resets every 48 hours. Right. So uh, wait until you're just about to leave out. Yes. Now, okay, so now with the form, with the prepayment, with the visa, with the passport, with the yellow fever card, with the printouts, with the test results, with the... Now you're ready to go. Yeah, Woo. you recently arrived, <laughs> drop a comment below and let us know how it went getting ready. So it was like a lot, that's what how it went. It was like, <laughs> ah. Anyway, check-in should go pretty smoothly if you have your paperwork ready. Now we're talking tests are all set, the forms are all filled out. When you're traveling, you'll be asked to wear a face mask throughout your entire duration of travel in the airports, on the plane, in between. Mm -hmm. um, and you're gonna be asked like multiple times for a bunch of different stuff. So just kind of keep everything handy and ready. Absolutely. Now you arrived home to the motherland. Yay! <laughs> You'll get a declaration card for immigration on the plane before uh, you, you set out. Um, just have a pen with you to fill out the uh, <laughs> card before you even land. I'm telling you, I had a pen. And at one point, my pen was like six rows back and like three, you know, three <laughs> over. It was like the yeah. only pen. It was like the only pen. It was like, can I take, borrow your pen? Oh, oh, sure. And then that person got it borrowed, and all of a sudden, I was like, I don't even. I so you know, bring a pen. <laughs> once you exit, once you get off the plane, there will be a queue right at the end of the ramp for you to fill out your online declaration form at the little kiosks. But if you did this already, then you can totally skip this and then get in the queue for the testing line. Right. I like that I say queue now. <laughs> ah. I'm, I'm so gonna end now, we queue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't fill out the form already, 
You can do it on your own phone and not wait for the kiosk to open up. KIA has free Wi-Fi, so hop on as soon as you can because you'll probably need to access a couple different things while you're going through the process. Right. Anyway, once you are queued up for the payment line, you can either pay right there or you'll just show your receipt of payment. And you can do that on your phone for this. You don't need a printout. But, you know, if you have the printout, it, sometimes it does make it easier. Mm -hmm. Once they set you up in the system, then you line up for your test. Yay! Up the nose! With the rubber hose! Yay. Yeah. All the poking and prodding, you'll finally see a restroom. Uh, <laughs> I hope you went before you got off the plane. Because if you waited, you're it's, like... You're right, it's going to be a while. It was a really long time. If you, oh. I had to send the boys by themselves because I was like, I'm in line, I'm not getting out of line. You guys go, just go. And they went. And they did, so you know. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Next is the health screening booths. So they are confirming that you took a fresh test um, on arrival. So you've, you've got the test, you've done the whole nose thing, you've used your restroom. There are these little boxes where you're waiting to check. They're going to check that you have your yellow fever card, and then they're going to ask you like a few health screening questions and take your digital temperature and all, a bunch of different things that they're doing at the health mm -hmm. screening booth. Yeah. You'll queue for immigration after that, um, have your declaration card and passport ready. Yep. Uh, they'll be checking your visa here. So if you didn't get one before departure, they will have you uh, queue for a visa on arrival. Yes. Uh, honestly, just do it beforehand. So. After that, now you've cleared immigration, you are now ready to go get your baggage. <laughs> the arrivals area is, I mean, look, it's relatively small baggage right. claim, so there's no worries about your bags here, I don't feel like. <laughs> I saw some people get stressed out because their bags were at the baggage claim and they were kind of stuck going through the process, but don't worry, they're over <laughs> there and you can't leave the area without getting your bags checked against your baggage claim, claim tags. Right. So, no worries. And have those tags ready when you when you get to baggage. And, and just know the porters will pull the bags off the turnstile and put them off to the side. So if you don't see your bag on the conveyor belt, then check the corral over by the firewall. Yes. And ladies, haha, this is your last best chance to use the restroom. Uh, so stop here. <laughs> I actually think you should use the restroom before you get your bags right, off the conveyor belt so that you're not worrying about them at all, but uh, the bathroom. like. And that bathroom was clean, like super Ew. clean. <laughs> so so you <laughs> The uh, cleanest. Yeah, it's a group, oh, very clean bathroom. Yes. Very clean. In fact, if you have a dollar or two in your pocket to um, dash the uh -huh. attendant, they totally deserve it. That bathroom's on point. Absolutely. <laughs> Now that you have your luggage and an empty bladder, yes. you're just waiting for your test results. Whew, it feels like you're almost there now, right? It's well, like I can almost. see the finish line. While you're waiting, now is actually the best time to message your ride and let them know that you're gonna be out pretty soon. You're just waiting for your test results at this point. Mm -hmm. You're close, and if you scheduled arrivals with uh, Expat Life, then we appreciate you giving us a little heads up. Yeah, that's yeah. a good spot to do it. Yeah, so. You're waiting for your test results and they'll send a notification to your phone so that you're all set to go. We were pretty far back in the line. I don't think I ever got a notification. We just kind of went right there, right out of luggage. Oh. But we were kind of farther. We okay. were slow. I was in a rush. Yeah, they, they're like, well. yeah, just keep checking your phone <laughs> yes. For, yes. for your results. But either way, you get called to the booth uh, near the door for your printed results once they are ready. And then after that, you take your baggage tickets, your negative results, um, print out, and then your passport, and you're going to get into the customs line. By the way, if you see a red scribble on your um, bag, your um, luggage uh, claim bag, yeah, you're going to get flagged at customs. <laughs> How do you know that? Okay, so if you see a red scribble doo -doo 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 -doo, on your bag, yeah, you're going to get flagged. Uh, okay. That, what What did you get flagged No for? comment. What did you get flagged for? No, no. I had candy for the kids. So <laughs> it was a food item or something like that. So. Did you Did you actually give it to the kids or did it mostly just... No, anyway. that was candy for me. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, oh, candy for the kids. So now anyway, that was your last step. Yeah. Now you'll exit the magical doors to the motherland. Ghana, baby. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. 
One last thing here. Once you step a foot out of those doors, your Wi-Fi connection is gone and they don't let you back in for any reason. So call, message, WhatsApp, whatever you have to do, connect with whomever you're gonna connect with before you walk out that door. It's your last chance. Yes, and if you schedule arrival services with Expat Life Ghana like you should have, <laughs> then we are waiting just outside to your left. Yay, right to your... Like immediate left. Immediate left. Just, you come out and you look left and I'll be like, hey! <laughs> or Elliot or the other Tony be like, hey! It's nice to know that you have someone waiting for you when you arrive. Because um, there is kind of a lot going on in terms of getting through the health screening and immigration. Mm -hmm. So, no joke. A hassle-free pickup is serious peace of mind. Absolutely. Um, easy peasy. And there is a lot going on when you come out the doors. If you're not, If it's your first time... There's just mm -hmm. kind of busyness there. So it's nice to know that you're looking for one person and one person's looking for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, being in Ghana and traveling, um, what is actually getting a bit harder is leaving Ghana. Uh, but wait, I what? don't know why you want to leave Ghana. <laughs> yeah, this uh, last variant has kind of changed things a little bit in terms mm -hmm. of returning. But you don't want to return anyway, so... No. I don't. Seriously, though, as of uh, December 2021, uh, you need a negative test to return to the States within 24 hours I mean, of departure. Was, 72 hours was already kind of tough. 24 right. hours? Oh, um, my God. That is a tight, tight turnaround. Yes. Um, it's pretty easy to get the test right near the airport at the airport clinic. I, we all suggest going there great yeah. um you can get it within the time frame Absolutely. without an issue are there any other changes that we need to know about i know you keep up on this stuff yeah non-citizen non-immigrant air, air travelers to the u.s will need to be fully vaccinated and show their vaccine card so if you are not a citizen and you're traveling to the states you need a vaccine so you are not going to need to worry about any of this though right because when's your next trip to oh to I'm, I'm going now? back um like february 32nd <laughs> okay then <laughs> hopefully all this helps you make a smooth arrival for more on arrivals check out expatlifegata.com <laughs> and with that Charlie out for now February 32nd <laughs> or the 33rd, somewhere around there. <laughs> yeah. You're not going back, are you? Oh, no. I'm going to go back. Just not going back. It's not going back. No, no, no. no. <sighs> um, I have to tell you something. When we were going through immigration, mm -hmm. uh, we got flagged by the immigration guy. He had to call the boss over. Whoa, what happened? He, he went through our passport, and he was saying we didn't have a valid visa. Uh... So we called the boss, and I was like, no, 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 no. What is it? What is it? And the guy was talking to the other guy and he's talking in local language and I'm hearing him and I'm like, no, no, this other one is in there. And they both looked at me like, mm -hmm. uh huh, the other, the other one is in there. I don't know what y'all saying. Don't yeah. pretend like I don't know what yeah. you're saying all the time. That, that happened to me on the way out. And the guy goes, oh, you extended your, your, your stay. <laughs> and he looks at me and I, I, <laughs> all I hear is ching, 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 ching. I'm like, oh no, no boss, keep looking. There's another one. <laughs> hey, hey. He's looking like Uh huh. You know we're staying. Yeah, oh, you know, getting us. Oh. We okay. renew, baby. We renew. I know. Oh, yeah. they, they don't put them in there with any rhyme or reason. So no, they're, they're just they're, yeah, they're just in there. But yeah, it was like, oh, you you extended your stay. Mmm. Ching ching. Ching ching. Sorry. Sorry. Not me. <laughs> <laughs> One. Oh, sorry. That was totally still me. <laughs> oh, we do that again. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's not me yet. <laughs> um. Corral. Coral. <laughs> Check right. the coral with your scuba gear. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, bloop, 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 where's my bag? Bloop, bloop. Okay. Oh, it's waterproof. Mm -hmm.